Bronny James over the week or yesterday yeah. was at practice at UFC and he not UFC <laughs> USC and he suffered a cardiac arrest. All right, so he's rushed to the hospital. He's now in stable condition. Um, he went to the ICU. So obviously, social media's first you know response to that is he was vaccinated and. This is why he, you know, this is why he had a cardiac arrest at 18 years old. Young, healthy man. How does he have a heart attack or cardiac arrest? I guess those are two different things. I thought those were always the same thing. But regardless, how did this thing happen, right? Now, like I said, we've seen athletes, most, most, most of the time, football athletes, and when I say football, I mean soccer, dropping in the middle of playing games, right? We've seen that happen. So, I'm not going to say it's directly tied to it, but I feel like there should be more studies and research on what is actually happening to these people. Now, I know if they actually do find something, most likely you're not going to tell these people that, hey, all these players that dropped down and had heart conditions and either died or alive came from this. They're not going to say that. Because imagine the... I think what was the stat? Like seventy percent of people got got it. And I'm just talking about America. I don't even know about the whole world, but just like seventy percent, maybe that was a number, but I could be wrong. Imagine telling the world that, hey, these healthy guys right here, they're dropping like they're not gonna say dropping like flies, because there's like, you know, there's people that this is happening to. And these are healthy people that work out every day, probably eat right, they run around. You, you're a regular civilian, you don't do none of that shit, right? How does that not scare a regular everyday person who maybe got it? So I don't even know if they did do the research. I don't even know if they would allow us to even know the information. Because if you remember, Pfizer said they wanted to, what was it? There was a, they won 150 years? How long was it? Okay, this was the story. So Pfizer had wanted uh, 55 years to process the FOIA request over vaccine data, right? 50, you want 55 years? And a FOIA is the Freedom of Information Act. So anybody can request information on a governmental level about something, anything, really. And it's up to them to, you know, give you the request, whatever. But FDA said we want 55 years to process that request. Now, that, that when you see that, it makes you look a little bit, you know, why do I need 55 years to give over the vaccine data. That seems a little bit extreme to me. Unless they're saying, we want 55 years to see how it pans out. Let's see how people actually, you know, turn up, turn out after they get it done. But, like I was saying, um, so this is the same guy. Like I said, like you just be weary about people who want clicks, tweets, and whatever, right? So, this guy says, USC players uh, basketball forced its players to be uh, vaxxed. With many boosters. With many boosters. I don't know where he got that from, but regardless. Against the vid, despite being young, healthy athletes. Now, Bronny James is in the hospital after going into an extremely rare form of cardiac arrest during practice. Now, when he says rare form, does he mean rare because Bronny is an 18-year-old athlete, son of LeBron James, who probably has impeccable genetics is that when he says that does that mean is that what he's referring to because i don't know who this guy is he has followers and shit like that but if he didn't even know that obama wasn't even at the place i can definitely believe he didn't get the information this was a rare form of cardiac arrest that, that uh, Bronny james got so he said they waited until the middle of 2023 to end the VAX requirements for athletes. That means Bronny James would have still been a part of the group they forced to get the VAX since he committed to the program before the requirement was lifted. Right? Even Trick Nasheed is, you know, a part of the good morning fam. I'm just going to leave this here. And it says VAX, uh, USC policy requires all students to be VAX and boosted if eligible for the VAX. Submit a request for a medical religious exemption. Students are strongly recommended to complete uploading vaccine um, documentation prior to arrival on campus. So pretty much he's, he's peddling the thing. But like, the thing I respect about this is, once again, once again, Bronny James was in high school this year. Now, I don't know if 
He could be vaccinated. I don't know if, even know if he's vaccinated. But I'm just saying, like, we're operating off a lot of assumptions here. Because Tariq Nasheed drops this, and he's a smart guy. I said in the video, well, I was on Warder's podcast, we were talking about him versus Myron and Nick Fuentes, like fresh and fit guys on a debate. And I'm like, he's a smart guy. He's going to be able to, you know, whatever. But when he posts this, it makes me feel, once again, like people are trying to just push their narratives on people. Because the USC lifted the requirements in March to have to have the vaccine. Now, like I said, Bronny could have committed. When did he commit to uh, USC? When did he commit to USC? So he announced he committed to USC in May, on May 6th. My bad, they actually lifted it in April. So he wasn't even committed to the school yet before they lifted the vaccine requirements. USC student health officials uh, officially announced today that COVID-19 will no longer be a requirement for students as of May 19th, amongst other uh, vid 19 updates that signal the end of the pandemic. Students were previously notified of the expected removal of the U- like. It's like, come on, bro. Now, like I said, I'm cool with diving into the conspiracy of that it does something. I'm cool with it. But I just don't like people mudding up the waters for clicks and views. Like, just give it straight. Just be honest. Like, hey, this is what's going on here. We can't confirm or deny if he got it or not. At one point, they were forcing students to get it. They've now lifted it. LeBron, I even feel like LeBron made a comment about getting it if he was kind of alluding that he didn't get it. And I would assume that if LeBron didn't get it, he didn't allow his family to get it. So there's that as well. But once again, when you want to peddle views and clicks and money, like niggas just post anything. And then people like Wardu, who's a bot, he'll just see it and he'll believe anything. Like, if you're not going to go and read other things, I think that's crazy. Especially if you're like, it's not even like you're, you're, it's not even like you're, you're getting a, a, a tweet or something, like a breakdown from like an actual person or like an actual, maybe like doctor, scientist or whatever. You're getting it from like just random nigga on Twitter who has followers. And like, there we go. We're rocking. We're here. Yeah, that's the truth, buddy. The Matrix is after us. Let, like, come on, bro. Like, come on. No, we know you because you, you, your takes t- typically go around the same vein of everything that we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I know, I know how, I know what you would believe. I know what you would believe, especially if Sneeko says it. I know you're gonna believe it. <laughs> you're gonna be ten tones down with it. So T. Davis says it could have nothing to do with the uh, the vax, but be more related to him being a high level athlete performing at a high level, which it turns lead to a higher heart rate during the activity. I mean, they said that's a that is an actual. That's an actual thing that could take place. He's an athlete who is operating at a high intensity and his heart rate is going crazy and he has a heart attack or a cardiac arrest, whatever it is. And also, another, this is another fact that I'm just throwing in there, right? We don't know these people's family history, right? LeBron, we see LeBron's prime athlete, greatest longevity Never, rarely ever injured. Obviously injured in his later careers, but now he's like 38, almost 40. So, of course, injuries will happen. But leading up that, we haven't seen nothing. We don't know genetically how the James heart, the James family hearts are. Like, we don't know. Maybe his mama got a bad heart and how daddy got a bad heart. And maybe LeBron James' mama, daddy got a bad heart. She got a bad Like, we don't even know these, these type of things. But that's why I watch out for narrative drivers. People who just, with something or confirmation bias seekers. Was like, oh, this for us. Let's go. I got to watch out for niggas like that. Especially when there's parts of the story you can actually read and verify that's not true. Like, like I said with the paddleboarder. We can see he was paddleboarding and he was swimming. So you're kind of, okay, eight feet of water. I can see maybe, like I said, you're dense, you're, you're made of muscle, maybe had a cramp and you drowned and, and that's what happened. That's just a possibility that could happen. But that's one thing. Okay, I can take that. He could swim. Then why did he drown? But then you got niggas saying, like, Obama called 911. Obama was there with them. It's like, all right, now you're just lying. Now you're lying. So when, when I see a nigga lying, I got to think that the whole st- st- thing you're trying to create here is a lie. It's built on a lie. Like you have some little d- tidbits in there, but then you just, it's like a house of cards, you just knock it all down with, like, external shit that's not, that you could verify is not true. All right? Trail says, mind you, a uh, heart problem don't usually show up until you're doing high cardio. For example, when you have heart surgery or heart problems, they make you get on a treadmill and run to your max. 
See, this is why I think that Trail could beat Wardle in a debate because my nigga Trail be coming with logic, right? Wardle be coming with, you know, happenstance and maybe and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And he never able to really give me no solid information. So I'm saying, I think you and Trail, I really would love to set up you and Trail. Like, let's let's really get a to- one topic, just one topic. And y'all do like a, a week's worth of research. And then like y'all, I would, I would, I, for me personally, like it, we don't got to be live. I just want to sit there and just like moderate you guys like going at Cause I would just, I don't know. It'd be great. It'd be great. But your main problem is you take the most radical opinions about conspiracy theories and apply that to anyone that speaks on the period. Um, no, what are you talking about? Expound, please. What do you mean? I, I take the most radical of the conspiracy uh, uh, theories and, and I, 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 I put, no, I don't think that. I, I'm, I'm pointing out this this Matt Wallace guy. That's all. And all I'm saying is some people just be retweeting shit. Like, that's all. T. Davis said, I'm a runner who runs every day and averages about 30 to 60 miles a week. Depending on training cycle at marathon pace, my heart rate is comfortably at 165 and 171. What's the, what's the stats on what your heart rate should be? I, I remember seeing that um, it's like your weight. I don't know what it is. I ain't going to see if we can do the science on it. But it's like weight divided by this. This is where your heart rate should be at to be in a safe, um, like zone four, zone three type of type of environment while you're working out. But I don't remember what it was. But I'm assuming that's good or maybe that's bad. I don't know. And then also black people, black people have a, um, this history of heart, heart problems, cardiovascular issues, and things of that nature. Like, when did when when Shaquille O'Neal's son had his heart issue? Was that was that before the vid? That was before the vid, right? Because I feel like he's supposed to be in the NBA probably like six years now if he was able to make it. It's like these things do happen. Like people's hearts do give out. Like I was in little league with people whose hearts were bad and they had diabetes. Like I know diabetes and, and hearts are two different things, but like these things do happen. It's just once again that LeBron James's son is at like a an optimal you know spotlight level. So it's you know hey. We're going to use this guy to further our, you know, narrative around the vaccine. All right. So, um, yeah, As I, I mean, like I said, I'm never against these things being true because there's a there's there's something in me that think that, you know, this the, the vax was that was I feel like it maybe was rushed. There are some side effects that we're not going to know about until years down the line. Like that's I just see that's how it's going to be. So. But my thing is, I just don't like people like the Matt Wallace guy who they know their audience. They know how to get the people, you know, riled up and moving. Even like Tariq Nasheed posting that, like, hey, look at the day four. Like, brother, they dropped it like three months ago. I mean, like I said, that doesn't just like, and, and like I said, Bronny could have been got it. Like, Bronny has been traveling, playing basketball. He's doing all these type of things. So there's a possibility he got it before that. He wanted to travel with his team, like whatever. Maybe he had to go to school at, at Sierra Kent. Like he probably could have been got it. I don't know. We don't know if he got it or not. But the thing about conspiracy, sometimes they'll pick things and try to like piece things together that could you could find out that those things aren't true. Right? That's the only thing about conspiracies I be seeing. And a person, like I said, and a person can believe a conspiracy. I'm fine with people believing conspiracies. I don't like the grifter type people, like Matt Wallace type of people. Who obviously are doing it for views and clicks and want money and to drum up outrage and whatever. Like he don't. I want to find. He's like, I'm gonna do my best to investigate the Obama chef. Like, no, you're not. You're lying. You want clicks, views. You got 10 million views on that one. Like, you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna look no further into it. If it's not a storyline, you're not gonna do that. You're lying. You want clicks and views, and that's cool. Like everybody wants views and clicks. Like, let's get it. Let's get. The, let's run the views up. Let's run it up. So, um. You remind me not to speak on conspiracy stuff around you, only Bryce. Oh, you don't even talk about nothing. You always like, you like wishy washy with the shit. Like I've never, you always say this conspiracy, but you never say anything. That's my that's my thing. Like if you was like die hard into it, like I respect Bryce because Bryce will talk about it. Any he don't care, even if it sounds crazy, Bryce is gonna talk about it. You be on oh. I- well, you should have seen me four years ago. I was really into it. Now oh, now I don't want to talk about it because nobody will believe me anyways. I don't even want to speak. Well, then shut up. Maybe you're going to talk about it. Don't talk about it. You don't speak on I've never heard you speak on I've heard you say Jamantria the name. But I've never actually heard you speak on.